Okay, so let's talk about Alzheimer's. I know this is a topic you are very familiar with. You wrote a book, Power Foods for the Brain, and it's a very hot topic right now. A lot of people are referring to it as type 3 diabetes. So can you tell us what does that mean and talk to us about how we can prevent Alzheimer's? Yeah, um, it's, it's really been a, an interesting journey. And, and the journey's not done yet, but, but if you make a list of all the diseases you don't want to get ever, and you don't want anybody you love to get this disease, the, at the top of that list is going to be Alzheimer's disease. Because when a person gets Alzheimer's, you lose absolutely everything. Um, and in my own life, I'll never forget my grandpa starting out saying the same stories and jokes again and again. And then he degenerated to the point where uh, he didn't remember things earlier in the day. And then he didn't remember the names of his loved ones. And then pretty soon he didn't remember anything. You don't die. You just lose everything um, for, for many years. Uh, but the, the light at the end of the tunnel came from the Chicago Health and Aging Project, which is a huge study in Chicago, ongoing study, where they rounded up a large group of people and tracked what they ate. And several things came up, but, but the one that got my attention the most was we were talking earlier about saturated fat. That's the, the bad fat that's in cheese, um, also in meat as well. Uh, the people in Chicago who had the most bad fat in their diet had two to three times the risk of getting Alzheimer's disease compared to others. Um, Trans fats, like uh, the partially hydrogenated oils in some snack foods, uh, also associated with risk. Uh, and there were some other things that were associated with reduced risk, like vitamin E rich foods, like seeds or nuts, for example. Um, exercise, the more that you lace up your sneakers, the better off you're gonna be. So there's a lot more to it. But the, the point that I'm getting at is we're starting to look at Alzheimer's the way we looked at heart disease about 50 years ago, where we're thinking, okay, it's not just old age, it's not just bad luck and it's not just genetics, it's things I can control, especially diet and exercise. So I am gonna guess that if you could get people onto a healthy plant-based diet, none of, the, none of the animal fats in there at all, get people lacing up their stinkers, I am gonna guess that about 80% of cases of Alzheimer's would either be greatly delayed or never occur at all. Uh, we need to prove that, but that I think, I think the power of this is somewhere uh, around that magnitude. Well, you know, I never thought about Alzheimer's disease as being a condition that they said the top of the chronic disease world that you just absolutely want to stave off. But you're absolutely right when you think about it is that you lose everything completely. You don't, you don't have a life at that point. Right. And you're busy bankrupting your family while you're, you know, sitting in a nursing home bed. Um, and uh, it's, it's a great tragedy. I don't know that we can wipe it out completely, but I think we can go a long way toward it. And um, there, there's much more to it that we didn't get into just now. Um, metals play a role like iron, aluminum, copper, uh, but all of these things are potentially controllable once we, once we know, um, what the issues are. So that's, that's really good news.